Many teams are condemning the president's remarks, including Patriots owner Robert Kraft, who says he was disappointed by Mr. Trump's comments. And tonight, President Trump is responding to Kraft, and we went to Foxborough to hear from the fans. WBZ's Jim Smith was at Gillette Stadium. Well, the game was great here at Gillette Stadium, but that was only part of the story. To kneel or not to kneel? That was the question. Happy Pats fans in Foxborough after another last minute win. Game turned around. Brady's Brady. At the twilight. But before the game, there was action too. A large group of Patriots kneeling during the national anthem, provoking boos from some of their faithful. Lots of reaction along Route 1 after the game. Very disappointed. But people know it's very disappointed. So, what are you going to do? I think they have the right to do whatever they want, personally. Did you get mad at any players that knelt, or do you think they. they... Everybody has a right to express themselves how they see fit. The players say they're responding to criticism from the president, not dissing the armed forces. A lot of people would think uh, we're disrespecting the flag and the military, but my father was a Marine, my uncle was a Marine, family fought in the Vietnam War. I have the utmost respect for the men and women that fight for our freedom. But we just want to send a message of, of unity and, and being together and, you know, not standing for the disrespect. The issue caught fire after Friday's presidential outburst. He's fired! Patriots owner Robert Kraft says he was deeply disappointed by the tone of the remarks, saying he supports the kneeling players' rights, adding, I think our political leaders could learn a lot from the lessons of teamwork and the importance of working together toward a common goal. Late Sunday, the president responded. I like Bob very much. He's my friend, but he gave me a Super Bowl ring a month ago, right? So he's a good friend of mine, but, uh, and I want him to do what he wants to do, but we have a great country. We have great people representing our country, especially our soldiers, our first responders, and they should be treated with respect. And when you get on your knee and you don't respect the American flag or the anthem, that's not being treated with respect. Well, the season is only three weeks old now, and the national anthem issue is only intensifying. At Gillette Stadium, Jim Smith, WBZ News.